Okay, so I will take you through the Pursuit uh, features in Focus Builder. Uh, first, I want to say that a Pursuit mechanism is uh, your ability to keep your eyes locked in on a moving target and smoothly follow that moving target. As long as your eyes move at 30 degrees per second or less, it is considered a, a Pursuit motion. If it goes beyond 30 degrees per second, then um, your uh, eyes have to, or your brain has to engage the psychotic system in order to follow the uh, moving target. And so right here in settings, you'll see there's a number of ways that we can configure a pursuit exercise to thera therapeutically help your uh, patients. The very first line at the top you see is the direction of movement and the direction can go in any of the arrow direction that I just uh, pressed on, uh, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Now typically, you know, direction is important because typically in most humans it's easier to do a horizontal eye movement, uh, especially a smooth pursuit, than it is to do a vertical. It's also generally easier to go down versus up. So it's important in your assessment to look at how your patient is performing and moving their eyes in all those directions. And uh, when you try to create a protocol, you want to create one that um, generates an improvement in their um, weaker abilities. So the second line is a target type. And you'll see that I have already have an image selected in here you can select all sorts of different types of targets. Um, I'm going to keep it on the image. That's, this is a picture of my son. I'm going to keep it on there just so you can see what that looks like. And I uh, purposely selected a large target so you can see the picture a little bit better. So this might be a little bit more interesting for some to look at than a bland or generic target or dot. But you have all sorts of options here. The very first one is a dot option, and then the next one's a dot with a center black point in it, and then a target option, a crosshairs option, which is really a great one because crosshairs allow you to focus in on a much smaller point of that target, which is where, right where those uh, black lines intersect in the center. Uh, random is a neat one as well because the random will switch target every time the pursuit motion changes direction uh, for or for every pursuit that is uh, programmed in the exercise. So it'll just keep on switching like this each time. And that makes it much more interesting. So the patient can uh, maintain focus on the target a little longer and be more interested in, in, in doing the exercise. Uh, also, there's the sports set and I'm going to make it go a little faster here for demonstration purposes. But you'll see that every new pursuit is a new image. Also, uh, the monster set. And so you'll get an, a new character. We have a, a total of nine different characters in there, so it should switch through all of them randomly. And uh, the dot color can be changed. So if I were to select a just a, a basic dot here, I could change the color of the dot to any color that I would like. Okay. And the background can also be changed. So if for some reason you find that there is benefit in having a particular color, maybe to stimulate one hemisphere over another, um, generally the blue, the purple is more of a right hemisphere stimulation and the yellow, the orange, red is more of the left. Um, so you could you could pick these colors. Also brown is, is also a great option just because uh, for some people who have um, just a hard time looking at a screen and you might want to, to pick a, a background that is not as stimulating the brown is really good. You could also use a textured background. Uh, let's see here. Uh, textured background. And 
part of the purpose of using a textured background is that it, it gives us uh, the ability to watch a moving target oh, let me just make this red a moving target that is or it gives you a sense of a second dimension you know or, or a depth perception generally when we look at moving targets in our environment there's always a background and this textured background here gives your brain a more realistic perception and so now some of the other options here uh, of course this the dot size uh, can be changed I had it on the largest size so let's make it a medium size okay uh, you could change so you have five size options. You can change the speed. You may go a lot faster or slower. And I have it on, on sinusoidal. That's the next line below. And that's on. That means it will go back and forth. It won't just go in one direction. But if I turn it off, you'll see that it'll just keep going in that same direction. And you might want to use that because, uh, you know, a right pursuit is stimulates the right hemisphere or the right parietal lobe. And you might want to just activate that right hemisphere or left. Now you can also change, um, so I've got it on continuous, but you can set the, the amount of uh, repetitions that you would want to use. Uh, we'll leave it on continuous for now. And you can also make the dot hold before it starts moving. So I'll give it a two second hold and I can give it a two second hold at the end and then before the, st the target actually begins to move it holds its position okay now one of the features I really love here is the tap feature if you go all the way to the bottom and what that means is that before the dot moves you have to and in order for the dot to move you have to tap the screen so it's not going to go anywhere as long as you don't tap the screen. So I'm going to tap it right now and there you go it goes and now it's going to hold for two seconds and then it'll hold until I tap again and this gives you the ability to do a, a gaze exercise if you would like a no no or a yes yes uh, or for whatever reasons you might want maybe your patient to rest for a certain amount of time or to do another type of therapy in between each uh, motion so there's not the pressure of timing it just right you know you could just tap it when it's ready and uh, you can change the start and end position here I have it set on negative one but if I go all the way to negative four that means that it'll start all the way on the edge of the screen and then here I can make it go just to the center of the screen or to the end of the screen on the other side so I, I picked zero so it's gonna go from the left now I'm gonna tap it and it goes to the center and it stops now, uh, if you wanted to have a little bit more of a cerebellar involvement, um, you know, the diagonal features are really neat for that. So if you move the dot in a diagonal direction, you know, the actual side that it moves to with the pursuit will activate that side of your brain. So, and that side of, yeah, so we'll keep it simple, that side of the brain. So if it goes to the right it's the right side of the brain if it moves to the left it's the left side of the brain but if I move it in a diagonal pattern up and to the right like this uh, now it's going to be right brain so right parietal lobe and right cerebellum and there we go okay very good now if I wanted to save this exercise I just go all the way to the bottom and I press this it says save as uh, I'm just gonna name it whatever I want to name it so we'll just call it pursuit for now but and then I press save and it is saved and it will be saved in the saved exercise at the very bottom is the last icon there if I press on it there it is pursuit at the top October 7th and if I want to play that exercise I can play it I just hit start and it goes right to the start menu or if I wanted to remove it and delete it I just press delete and yes I want to delete so it's done